We are going to demonstrate making runout measurements and visually inspecting the adaptation hardware. These parts are external to the transmission and must be checked to ensure proper operation of the replacement unit. It is important to inspect the failed transmission that's being removed for signs of an adaptation problem. These include broken or abnormally worn torque converter pilots, oblong or egg-shaped bell housing bolt holes, or transmission fluid present in the bell housing. When the adaptation hardware is not inspect, the charge pump housing takes most of the damage, resulting in loss of transmission main pressure. We are going to follow the procedures and measurements from Allison SIL60-TR-81. This worksheet is available on our website at the top of the screen. Click Tech Support under Automatics. Start by removing the flex plate and converter pilot hub. With that out of the way, clean the inside diameter of the engine bell housing using solvent and an abrasive pad. Use a flat whetstone to polish the mounting surface of the engine bell housing. Using a large inside caliper, measure the diameter of the flywheel housing bore in two places. Use the bolt holes to ensure you are measuring straight across the housing. Next we'll measure the eccentricity or roundness of the housing. Fix a magnetic base of a dial indicator to the crankshaft and sweep the entire bore. Record the maximum and minimum readings and put the measurements in the worksheet. To measure the squareness or flatness of the flywheel housing, leave the magnetic base fixed to the crankshaft make sure to press the crank to eliminate any end play that could throw off the reading. Sweep the entire housing again recording maximum and minimum readings and record the results. Next we will measure and inspect the inner diameter of the crankshaft pilot hub. First make a visual inspection looking for any signs of grooving from the old torque converter. If a groove is felt with a pick or your fingernail, it's recommended that the part be replaced. The hub is smooth. Use an inside micrometer to measure the diameter. Find the measurement and record in the worksheet. We can now reinstall the flex plate and pilot hub adapter. Make sure to torque the bolts to the engine manufacturer's specification. We are now going to switch the base so that it's fixed to the flywheel housing. We used a piece of flat stock to get the correct location of the dial indicator base. Arrange the indicator so that it points to the inside diameter of the hub. This will check the eccentricity of the pilot bore. Sweep the inside diameter and record the maximum minimum readings. Now point the dial indicator to the face of the hub adapter. Rotate and record maximum and minimum readings. Now we're going to move the indicator just inside the converter mounting holes on the flex plate. This will measure flatness. Make sure the flex plate is clean of rust or debris that may interfere with the dial indicator. If more than one flex plate is used, they must be bolted together on the engine. Sweep the flex plate surface for maximum and minimum readings and record. If you are using a piece of flat stock for making these measurements, it's important to zero the caliper on that piece of metal before making the measurement for converter axial location. Also, if there was any hardware like a spacer ring, that part needs to be attached to the flex plate before making this measurement. Use a depth gauge and measure from the flywheel housing mounting surface to the flex plate or adapter ring and record your reading in the worksheet. If you have any questions, please visit our website at wellertruck.com or calling 800-872-6697. You can also email info at wellertruck.com.